Hello and welcome to Through the Mixing Glass. My name is Joel. Unless you've been hiding on a super yacht in the Caribbean, you are well aware of the absolute train wreck this past year has been. Life's been hard enough this year, so let's make a delicious and easy drink to tell 2020 to hit the bricks. Today we're going to be making the Harvest Sour, which is created by famed New York City bartender Sam Ross. The brains behind the penicillin, paper plane, and many other amazing cocktails. Let's get going. Our first ingredient is three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup. I'm using a rich demerara syrup, which is two parts demerara sugar to one part water. But you can feel free to use whatever you have on hand. I haven't tried it myself, but I think using cinnamon syrup would also work nicely in this drink. Next is three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice. As always, freshly squeezed is best, but I won't judge if you're getting yours from a lemon-shaped plastic bottle. And we're following that up with a full ounce of apple brandy. I'm using Laird's Straight Apple Brandy, which is a 100 proof bottled and bond option. Laird's Applejack is a great lower proof option if that's more your speed. Next is an ounce of rye whiskey. I'm using Rittenhouse Rye Bottle and Bond, which again is 100 proof. If you're sensing a theme here, you may be onto something. And finally, we're adding an egg white to give this drink a truly decadent party at the end of the world feel. All you mouthful freaks out there are really gonna go nuts for this one. All right, that's everything. Let's seal our tins nice and tight because we're gonna give this a dry shake, meaning we're going to shake all the ingredients without ice to emulsify the egg white and give our drink a rich, frothy foam. With our dry shake complete, let's add ice and give that one more good hard shake. For glassware, I'm going with a Nick and Nora glass, but feel free to use whatever you like best. And to make sure we don't have any stray bits of ice, we're gonna double strain it into the glass. For garnish, we're cutting a tiny slice from the world's tiniest apple. I got this apple from an orchard at my local farmer's market, and I still have so many questions about it. Why is it so tiny? This is like a quarter of a normal sized apple. Why did the guy think that this would be okay when I asked for five apples? He doesn't know I have a cocktail channel on YouTube. What did he think I was gonna be able to do with this? Uh, moving on, let's complete the drink with some freshly grated nut. And some freshly grated cinnamon. Now, how amazing does that look? The tiny apple actually worked out perfectly here. I guess I forgive you, Orchard Man. Let's give it a taste. Mm. Oh, wow. First thing you get on the nose is the fresh cinnamon and nutmeg. That's followed by a sharp, citrusy burst from the lemon juice, which is rounded out by the spiciness of the rye whiskey. And the finish is like biting into a fresh apple. The mouthfeel, rich, creamy, smooth, velvety. What I'm trying to say here is it's decadent as f This drink is perfect for this time of year. I know that harvest season is pretty much over, but they're still selling miniature apples at the farmer's market, so I think you could get away with serving this all winter long. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know what you like to drink this time of year in the comments below. If you aren't already, please hit the subscribe and notifications buttons below. See you in 2021. Cheers.